Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99. How you doing? Full disclosure, Mrs. Crypto Mentor 99 says I'm following way too much of the coronavirus news on YouTube and in the newspaper. She's probably right. So I came across a really, really, really sad story. Um, that I just accidentally deleted. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Anyhow, I'll still do the uh, video. So in China, one of the hotels, I think it was Beijing. No. Um, no, maybe it was Beijing. There was a four, I believe it was a 14-story hotel that they converted into like a makeshift, if you've got coronavirus, if you're in, you know, um, any type of medical distress, come to this apartment building that they had like a makeshift, I'm gonna say like a makeshift hospital. But what ended up happening, the building collapsed. True story. The building collapsed and as of yesterday, as I'm doing this video, it's March 8th, early evening. There were 14 people killed and others trapped inside. The, you know, like the, the wreckage and the carnage of, of this uh, building. And I'm like, oh my gosh, could it get any worse? Anyhow, I will try to look for the link, but I tried to pull it up here. I've had it up there for the past day. But anyhow... Mrs. Crypto Mentor 99 says I should stop watching YouTube and these YouTube videos just has negative information on the coronavirus and focus on something else. Anyhow, I can't because I want the best for my family. Speaking of my family, my one of my son-in-laws had a birthday party yesterday, Saturday the 7th. And I told my adult kids, the grandkids were downstairs watching TV. I told my adult kids and their spouses that this little guy got all the um, hand sanitizers in this one store and no one really cared. So anyhow, I'm trying to convince my family that whether you think this is real or not, there's going to be real shortages that I just want to be prepared for. Anyhow... Crypto Mentor 99, be careful out there. Love y'all. Bye-bye.